What's going on guys? Jackknife Finnegan coming at you once again with the Dollar Tree Sunnies collaboration. Uh, you guys might remember a little while ago we did a uh, dinner on a dollar. We went to the Dollar Tree. We actually made a, a full on meal. Me and a, a group of people called the Sunnies. A uh, real awesome group of people. Uh, the branching out, becoming really top of the line. And if you're not uh, affiliated or a part of that, Make sure you guys check into it. It's definitely a, a group worth checking out. Um, amazing people, amazing support group, uh, so on and so forth. Really good. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that post notification bell so you do not miss an update, upload, or a live stream. With that being said, let's get to today's. Um, this is a, a dessert at the Dollar Tree. So we all had $5, and we can do, use an item from home. Uh, we go to the Dollar Tree and we try to make dessert from the Dollar Tree. So let's get to it. What is going on guys? We are now approaching the Dollar Tree to get the, the stuff we need for the dessert challenge. So that'll be exciting. I got $5 in my pocket and I'm ready to rock it. So let's get it done. So when you go to our dollar store in Minnesota, it has a frozen food section, which is really nice. That's where I'm picking up a lot of all my ingredients for the $5 challenge. We got butter, Cool Whip, two packages of pudding, we got cream cheese. We need sugar, flour, and milk. I got those at home, but that shouldn't be an issue. Don't pay attention to the carpet. The carpet, a little rough, but you know, what do you do? Other than that, look how nice this looks. Huh? Look at that. I know your mouth is watering. Boom. Now I know what you're asking. Jackknife, what are you going to make with those ingredients? What are you going to make? Well, one night I was coming home from work and I was talking to a friend of mine. His name is King Wicked 420 Most Hated. Uh, he also has a YouTube channel. Make sure you guys check him out. Awesome streamer. Actually a real friend of mine, so check him out. Really awesome dude. But he goes, why don't you make Chocolate Delight? And I'm like, what the hell is Chocolate Delight? And he's like, bro, you never heard of Chocolate Delight? I'm like, no, I never heard of Chocolate Delight. He's like, trust me, make Chocolate Delight. So I went to the Dollar Tree, I looked it up, and I said, you know what? It's within the budget. I'm going to make me some Chocolate Delight. So that's what we're doing. We're making Chocolate Delight. Let me show you what we need to get the ingredients and to get started. So before I start even cooking, I, re I realize that you need to start the oven at 350 degrees. So before I do anything, I already pre I'm going to start preheating the oven. So that's usually a good thing to do uh, whenever you're going to do baking, cooking, so on and so forth. Just preheat the oven because the prep work is going to take a while. And by the time you're done with the prep work, the oven will be ready and you'll get it all done at one time. So for a chocolate delight, I'm going to use this pan... To put it in I got two Hershey's instant chocolate pudding I got make sure when you um, butter make sure when you guys do the butter have it at room temperature and your cream cheese I got this cream cheese as well have this at room temperature as well and here is another Hershey's instant chocolate uh, I do have a dilemma though I don't have any graham crackers because I need graham cracker crust whoa what was that well, look at that. That is really weird. That just came out of nowhere. Well, we're going to need graham cracker crust. And then I'm like, well, I ain't got no confection sugar. Whoa, what was that? All right. Well, these are unopened bags. This is insane how I just have this laying around my kitchen like this. This is crazy. I have an unopened um, graham crackers and an unopened powdered sugar. Alright guys, so I took two sleeves out of here. There's three sleeves that come three sleeves that come into the graham, graham cracker uh, box. I took two sleeves and I put it in there. That's going to be plenty enough for graham cracker crust. So what you need to do is you need to smash it down. Now keep in mind, I did wash my hands prior to cooking. I wash my hands a lot actually. I'm a, I'm a germaphobe. And these are graham crackers. These things are going to smash up like easy. All you gotta do is just smash up so you can get a nice little crust. And then to get the fine grade, 
just get like a little hammer of some kind and just smash it. So as we're getting the crust ready, so right now I got it down to that. I'm going to use a whisk, a metal whisk, and grind it down more. But what I do got to add is I got to add a half a cup of butter. In case you guys don't know how to tell what's a half a cup of butter, you can tell this full stick is a half a cup of butter. So I'm going to add the entire stick inside here. I'm going to whisk it around. And then also add two tablespoons of gran granulated sugar. So add two tablespoons of granulated sugar in here with the full stick of butter. And that will get your graham cracker crust ready to rock. I'm very lucky, you guys. I also found an unopened package of granulated sugar. So we're going to add two tablespoons of granulated sugar. So one, two, and then I'm going to mix this up till it's a fine grade, and then I'm going to put it in here, and then we're going to bake the crust. So my oven is preheated, guys, so I'm excited about that. My prep work took the exact amount of time to have my oven preheated, so what we're going to do is we're going to spray this pan so we ain't got to worry about it coming off or sticking together or you know being a mess so this I actually did have laying around at the house I bought this from my last project from the Dollar Tree so definitely coming in handy for sure and here guys what I did to chop this up is just to show you what I did is I went like this throw it all the way until I got to a nice little crumb a uh, crumbling now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and you notice how nothing's sticking to it that's awesome that's what you want so now what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to put it right here. Get out all the, all of it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to spread it out evenly and then we're going to smack it and pack it down so it's nice and firm in there. Alright guys, so as you can see I got it evened out, packed up pretty tight. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the oven for 10 minutes so we can get the crust nice and hard. And then once we take it out of the oven in 10 minutes, we're gonna, you got to let it completely cool down in order to add the toppings. So I'll see you in 10 minutes. Alright guys, so now that is in the oven cooking for 10 minutes. What we're going to do is we're going to take this cream cheese, put it in here. We're also going to take a cup of powdered sugar or confection sugar, uh, a cup, and put that in here as well. And we're going to put the Cool Whip in. Make sure you get this um, not frozen, have it like cool or uh, room, kind of room temperature. Just keep it cold but a little bit room temperature. It'll make it easier to mix around and everything. I'm going to show you guys here in a second what we're going to do and how we're going to get this mixed. So 10 minutes has passed. I just took it out. Now before we add the top and uh, the rest of the layers, you want to wait till this is completely cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit out for a little bit and then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, completely cool it. Um, maybe let it sit out for maybe 10-15 minutes and then after that put it in the refrigerator for another 10-15 minutes and then, then it should be cool. And then after that, we are going to add the top layer. So I'll see you guys in a little while. All right, you guys, this is completely cool. This is good to go. Now I put a cup of powdered sugar in here. I'm going to add the cream cheese. And I'm going to add our Cool Whip. And then we're going to mix that up. Once that gets mixed up, we're going to add a layer to this. So there it is, all mixed up, and uh, all I used was a normal whisk. You could probably use your blender or your, you know, your mixer, whatever you want to do. And I used the full thing of Cool Whip. Now what you're going to want to do, guys, is you're going to want to add um, one layer to here. And then you're going to add a second layer, and then you're going to top off with this layer. So don't use all of this. Because you're going to use this for the final. So use this to coat it. 
and then do your second layer and then this will be your end layer so there is our first layer now let's make our second layer now while we have that layer already um, set then we're making our second layer so with this layer you guys make sure you add both of your boxes of the Hershey's chocolate pudding and three cups of milk and then go get another whisk and whisk it and then we're going to add that layer on top of this layer all right guys I added the pudding and then I added three cups of milk I use homogenized milk uh, also known as whole milk so three cups um, two puddings now I'm gonna whisk it until it's a nice pudding now we got it all mixed up and I know what you're saying like man this is really watery well this quick sets so what that means is when you're done mixing it till where it's all you know good to go you let it sit for five minutes and it'll quick set it'll become pudding on its own so I'll check back in this in five minutes and we will add it to this part of the cake all right so it quick set it like it said it would because I pulled my uh, mixer out of there now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add a top layer to this all right and just so you guys know I used the entire thing of pudding and I put the layer on now I'm gonna take the rest of this and put that on top of this and it'll be ready to serve so once we get that over to here we're good to go all right you guys I'm not even gonna lie to you I messed up um, I did everything correct except for my first layer of the uh, whipped cream topping I put entirely too much on the first uh, the bottom part because the top here is supposed to be white um, so that was my fault but I'm sure this is gonna taste amazing either way so let's see if we can actually see the oh you can okay cool you can actually see the layers right there you guys check that out yeah I put too much there in the in the uh, top layer that was my own problem but uh, next time do a little bit on the base coat um, and then do all your your good on the top um, the pudding on the top and then make sure you keep enough room uh, for the um, whipped cream topping up top so let's get this cut up let's get this served let's see how good this tastes so I put it on my son's plate and before I could take a picture of it this is what he's already done to it um, so let's ask him because my taste buds unfortunately do not work I am sick so that sucks I can't enjoy this so I'm gonna ask him what he thinks so what do you think of what do you think of it tell us and be honest don't lie to me it's not good it's delicious it's not good but it's delicious yeah it's delicious are you lying if it sucks, tell me. I won't I won't I won't be offended. It's delicious. Okay. So there you have it you guys. That is chocolate delight. If you guys like the video, leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and always hit that post notification bell so you do not miss an update, upload, or a live stream as I upload daily. With that being said, I'm gonna get out of here. You guys have a good night. Peace.